Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't done a Louis Vuitton unboxing in a really long time. Um, I mean, I did unbox like a couple of earrings and stuff like that um, a while ago, but as far as it comes to handbag, I feel like I haven't like, I, I really haven't bought anything in a, in a while, in like a few months. Um, and now I bought two things back to back. So I have two unboxings to post. So today we're going to talk about this one. And then I guess next week or the week after I will be posting my push present. So I kind of got two bags back to back. This one I got for myself. And then obviously like my push present, my husband got it for me. And yeah, like I'm still like really heavily pregnant and kind of swollen. I think you guys can tell really like my face is swollen. Um, my feet, not so much. I'm not going to show you my feet, but um, yeah, like everything is like swelling up and everything because I'm like really towards the end of my pregnancy now. Um, and yeah, I just want to quickly do this video, unbox this bag and show it to you guys because it is from um one of the newer collections and when i say newer collection i mean the demir bean braided strap collection i don't know if that's the name but basically it's the demir new demir bean collection so let me know in the comment box down below if you guys can guess what this bag could be just pause the video and let me know your guesses down below um but yeah that's why i really wanted to show this bag like right away because you know, in case if you guys are considering to purchase this bag or any other bags from this collection, then this one is going to kind of give you like a good sneak peek, you know. Um, but yeah, like as far as like the background is concerned, it's obviously a little bit different. I used to have like a black dresser there where and then I used to like sit in front of it and talk and I'm running out of breath which is my reminder that I got to talk slow. Um, yeah, so I used to have a dresser there and then I used to sit in front of it on the floor. But obviously, like, because of the baby and everything, it's just so hard to sit on the floor. I, it's just not comfortable at all. So I thought I'd just kind of sit on my bed just by the window and then just quickly show you this bag. But that is the crib that we just put up. It's not, like, even done setting up completely it's got crib and then a changing station like this here is a changing station um and yeah i know you guys are not here to hear about the crib so i'm not gonna stop i'm gonna stop talking about that i'm gonna get into the bag right away so this is the box it came in and obviously like this is not a true unboxing because i already like opened the bag and i had to explore and make sure that everything was okay um, because I had not seen this bag in person. I just ordered it and it came to me. But <clears throat> isn't it really cool that Louis Vuitton has its own boxes now? You guys might have seen it from other like unboxings, this kind of like box. But for me, this is the first time because I haven't really ordered anything in a while. But that's how it is on the inside. So the box is right there. And hopefully you guys left your guesses down below if you haven't it's still not late put your guesses down below and let me reveal to you the bag that I got I don't know if you guys will be able to like guess it because I've never mentioned that this bag was in my wish list but the bag that I picked up is dun -dun -dun! That is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the Demir Abin and pink interior with braided strap. You guys must be wondering, like, where is the braided strap? So <laughs> let me show you. The strap is right over here. There is what the strap looks like. It says Louis Vuitton here and then the length of the strap is I believe at 35 centimeters so let's put on the strap and show you the back again all 
Alrighty, so that's what the bag looks like with the strap on. And then here is the side where it attaches. There's a little flap right there. And then that's how it goes. Same thing on this side. And then here is the interior. So just like the other Neverfull, this one also comes with a pochette. And I don't know if you guys know, but I mean, I don't know if you guys remember, but I do own another Neverfull. It's the one in Monogram. And I did sell my pochette. This is called pochette, right? I think so. Yes. So it did come with pochette, obviously, but I ended up selling it to Fashion File. And I really don't have any regrets because um, the times that when I sold it, I really was not going to use it. I was not using it. I did keep it with me for like several months thinking that I might use it and I never did. So I sold it. So no regrets at all. But... This is the pochette for this one. It does have one slip pocket. That's where all the cards are. And this bag is made in friends. So I think it, it says here in the pochette as well. But yeah, there is the pochette. And then here is the bag. I think you guys have seen this bag plenty of times. There is one zippered pocket at the back. And then in the tab here, it says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. And yeah, I think everything else in this bag is the same as any other Neverfull. The only difference is like this braided strap. Um, and yeah, I really like how like these stand up, the handles stand up. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Um, but one of the interesting things I noticed about this bag compared to the regular Neverfull in the Damier Abin, this is a little bit smaller. And when I say little bit, like tiny bit smaller from all sides. So I don't have the exact measurements here, or I can't remember. But definitely if you're interested in this bag, then you should check it out that this one is just a tiny bit smaller not too much small just a tiny bit smaller and yeah that is basically what it looks like obviously i am going to be showing you the mod shots um i'll film them like after i am done talking about the bag it's just so hard to kind of move things around you know like i'm kind of big so <laughs> it's just hard to like get in like get up in between and just film and i mean get up in between and film the mod shots but I have a couple of things that I want to show you when it comes to this strap so I think I did show you um, the close-up of this strap but there is another strap that I really like this bag with and that is this strap over here. So this is the speedy bandolier strap, only the first two attachments. And let me put it on here so you guys can see what that looks like. Okay, so that's what the speedy strap looks like. I just wish this kink wasn't there. Um, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like this strap kind of matches, not matches. The correct word is this strap blends in with the canvas a lot better because it's the same color as the strap. Um, and yeah, I might just kind of use this bag with this strap. I don't know yet, but this is also interesting. See how the bag does this when you wear when you wear a strap over the shoulder like this. Um, I feel like if you have an organizer in here, then it probably 
wouldn't do that it would still probably do that just not a lot you know um so yeah this is one of the other i guess strap choices and i don't know if i mentioned to you guys but so this bag uh demir abin in the pink interior has always been in my wish list and i've always wanted to get it um but one of the other facts is also that i love neverfull but i find the straps really uncomfortable especially because it's such a big bag so you tend to like keep putting more things in it and that's why it's heavy and it's just really uncomfortable um and more than uncomfortable i think the reason that it is uncomfortable is because like the strap drop is really short you know so i got excited when they came out with this braided collection but then when i noticed that this bag is smaller than the actual like the neverfull i was like i don't know if i want like smaller one you know so yeah i don't know what do you guys think let me know down below if you think i should keep the bag or you know not keep the bag right now i'm exactly like 50 50 when it comes to this bag um it is like 500 dollars more expensive in uf dollars than the regular never fall so i guess the real question is is the strap option and like having these strap thingies here is it worth that extra 500 dollars you know um but yeah i would appreciate some suggestions some comments on that so let me know down below um i gotta decide on this bag pretty soon <sighs> because i could deliver any day i think so or it's getting really close so i want to have a decision before that but the strap let's talk about the strap so um i think i did show you guys strap up close it is indeed a nice strap um and if you notice like it's a little thinner at the end and then a little thicker in the middle not too much like a tiny bit hopefully you guys can see it like a tiny bit it is thinner in the end um and let me show you how it looks like on my speedy okay so there is the strap with speedy obviously you don't get like the braided handles here but it doesn't even matter i think it looks cute there looks pretty nice i will insert the mod shots a little bit later um or like maybe as a side frame uh, but that's what it looks like and as i have my speedy like right beside this one you can see the difference in canvas or is there a difference i think there's a slight difference between the two canvases like this one is obviously like more i mean speedy is a little bit more chocolatey i think yeah tiny bit of difference see i think so and then the other bag that i think this strap could be used with is alma baby so let's see how this strap looks on alma and i'm showing you these different strap options with these different bags so that you can tell me exactly if this strap is worth it you know um and it's not just about the strap i probably won't even use the strap on this i'll probably end up using this on the strap but then again i don't want i mean i i probably end up using this on the bag but then again, I don't want to strain this because this is my speedy strap and I want to use it with speedy, you know? So, yeah, and I'm sorry if I'm, I apologize if I am running out of breath. I'm really trying to talk slow so it doesn't sound weird, you know? But here we are with the Alma BB. 
Um, there we go. What do you guys think? Here's the Alma BB with the strap. I feel like for a shoulder bag like this, Alma BB looks a little odd with this strap. I mean, just like this, it looks pretty, obviously. But when you wear it, I feel like it's a little bit, it sits at a weird length. Um, you guys will see it in the, like in the mod shots later. But it does look kind of odd like this. I think I like this strap a lot more with the speedy. Here. Oh, let's check the canvases of my Alma and the Nepal. Okay, there we go. I think these are like closer matches than like the Speedy is definitely a little bit more like chocolatey, I feel. These are more like clothes and matches. But yeah, that is it, I guess. I don't think there's anything else to point out about this bag. It is definitely a good bag and it has always been in my wish list. Um, and I don't know, I've been hearing that there's going to be price increases on February 14th. So I don't know. Um, I'll definitely be posting this video before February 14th. But if let's say the price of Neverfull, which is in USD right now, $2,030, if it goes up by let's say, I don't know, $200 and it becomes $2,230, then I feel like maybe adding $200 more and having that flexibility of attaching the strap here may be worth it. Um, I don't know. And then you can always just kind of use this bag without any strap here and it just looks like a normal never fall, you know. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything like that about this, collection or like this bag or anything then let me know in the comment box down below and i'll try my best to answer them uh, but otherwise it really does it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope um you guys will be able to help me make a decision about whether i should keep this bag or not <laughs> um yeah i'm exactly like 50 50 on this one i really don't know um, when I found out that this bag is a little bit smaller than actual Neverfull, I, I'm going to be honest, like I did like that, you know, I wanted like my Neverfull to be exact the same size as all the other ones. So that was a turnoff and that's why I think that's what kind of made me think about whether I want to keep it, you know, um, but yeah, otherwise I really like it. I mean, I love Demir Bean with pink. Um, it's one of my most favorite combination. I do have Sippy Coin purse in Demir Bean and Pink, and I just really, really, really love it. Um, and the funny part is all the other Demir Beans bags, um, they have red interior. Like if you see Cross, Crosset, Crosset, I don't know however you say it. If you see Crosset, that one is has red in it. Alma Bibi is red. Um, uh, speedy is red so like so many bags have red interior this is the only one that we, where you get option of having pink um so i like it but yeah otherwise i think i i don't know if i mentioned but the condition of the bag is really good like there's no obviously no cracks no like puffy you know sometimes you have like puffy edges and stuff there's nothing like that it's really really smooth all around it um you know even like the straps and everything is just so good um is it zooming in hopefully it zooms in but yeah it's there's really no issue with the bag i think i showed you the bottom but here it is it's got a little squeezed there we go <laughs> so like there's no issue with the bag at all it's a it's a good bag in a good condition but yeah that's pretty much it i think i've been talking quite a lot and i think this video is going to be really long uh, but that's okay as long as you guys enjoyed it because I enjoyed filming it and Yeah, that does it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for mod shots um, 
if I haven't inserted them already. Um, and yeah, that does it for today's video. Thank you guys. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe down below. It only takes like two seconds and gives me lots and lots of happiness. So do that. Like this video. Give me a big thumbs up. I'll see you guys now in my next video. Till then, take care. Stay safe. Bye.